I'm Chef Mark McCrow, and this is My Home Kitchen. This is it. We're set up on the beach. We got our beautiful little capelin fish. I'm gonna show you guys a next level capelin dish stuffed with ground beef, chilies, capers, pecorino cheese. Of course, it's gonna be sauteed in that beautiful Newfoundland pork scrunchions, deglaze with some white wine, a little bit of Pomodoro sauce, and finish with that oyster leaf I picked on the beach. So stick with me, let's get cooking. All right, guys, so the first bit of prep we gotta do is we gotta take the guts out of these capelin. Then we're gonna actually pull all the bones out so we got a boneless filet, and then we're gonna stuff them and pan fry them. Make sure you got a really sharp knife. You wanna insert your knife just under the belly of the capelin. Run it right down, not for the faint of heart. Scoop all those guts out. I know guys, but it's gonna be worth it, trust me. We wanna chop the hay off, and then flipping the capelin over, cutting right down the back, now you want to grab your little spine bone back here and just slowly pull that right out with all those bones. So we got a perfect little filet. We're going to stuff with a ground beef stuffing. Voila. So this is it guys. We got one little capelin filet. We're going to do a few more of those. Then we're going to get a stuffing ready and get them in the pan. So we got our beautiful little filets. It only took a couple minutes. Now let's turn these into something special. I'm just gonna hit them with a little bit of kosher salt, just to sort of lightly cure the fish. And then as well, while I'm at it, a little bit of fresh lemon juice. Just gonna lightly dress that, let those chill out while we move on to our stuffing. So we got our medium ground beef here, right in the bowl, and now we're gonna dress this with some beautiful flavors. First of the story, we got our beautiful salted capers. You give them a little rinse with water, the flavor is unreal. Salty, briny, really gonna add a lot of depth of flavor to our filling. So let's take a little pinch of those. Not too many, because they are salty. Break them down a little bit. Right on in with the beef. Before we go on, guys, you always want to season your stuffings with a little salt and pepper. Keep in mind, we got the papers, so they're already a little bit salty. So we got our salt, a little fresh cracked black pepper. I'm gonna go with a little bit of a pinch of red chilies, just for a little bit of heat. We got some fresh breadcrumbs, just to bind everything. Probably about a half cup, right on in there. And of course, we're gonna want some garlic. So let's get probably two cloves of garlic. You wanna cut the little stem off the bottom. Put your knife on top, just give it a little tap. What that will do is loosen up the skin and make it a lot easier for you to pull that garlic clove right out. So this is going to the stuffing and just grate that garlic right on in there. That'll just perfume the stuffing, make these capelin extra delicious. And the king of cheeses, in my opinion, Pecorino Romano. It's kind of like a Parmesan, but a little bit nuttier. It's a hard aged cheese from Italy, and that's just gonna tie everything together. Beautiful. We wanna balance the stuffing together just with one egg. Just bind everything. We'll get a mixing spoon, start working that stuffing together. So stuffing's looking good. We had a couple of last minute things we're gonna pop in there just to really bring it over the top, guys. A tin of anchovies, chef's secret weapon. Just wanna get probably two or three of these little fillets. They're packed in oil. Again, salty, umami, really gonna make our stuffing pop. We're just gonna give them a quick little chop right into our mix. A little bit of Italian flat leaf parsley. Just gonna tear off a bunch. Quick little chiffonade if the wind doesn't blow it away. Nice and rustic, as they say. Right in our bowl. And you know I'm a sucker for lemon, so let's put some of that zest right on into the stuffing. Taking it to new heights. Beautiful, so let's give our stuffing one last mix. Get everything nice and incorporated. And let's get these bad boys stuffed.
So you wanna take about a teaspoon of each stuffing, just gonna roll it in my hands, form a nice little snake, pat that down in each fish. It's a little bit of work, but I promise you, people that don't like capelin will love this dish. All right, so we got our stuffing laid out. Now we're just gonna take the capelin in our hand and just fold them over like a neat little package, sort of reshape them. We're gonna do that to each fish. And if they're not perfect, don't worry about it. The stuffing will hold them together. They're gonna look great in the end. All right, the hard part's done. Pan's heating up, guys. We're gonna go in with a couple of tablespoons of pork scrunchions. This will be the oil that we saute our capelins in. So we're just gonna render that down, let it go for a bit. While that's working, beautiful fresh rosemary. Just gonna give it a little slap, break out some of those essential oils, throw that right into the pan. And garlic, nothing too fancy. Just gonna crush two cloves of garlic right on our pan, just to permeate the pan. Little touch of extra virgin olive oil just to help it along. And we got these beautiful finger chilies. Just gonna take one, split it right down the center, keep it attached on the bottom, right in the pan. So we got the garlic, the rosemary, you already smell the flavors. We got some all-purpose flour. We're just gonna take our capelin, give them a little roly around, pat them dry. The flour is gonna help seal in that stuffing and give a nice crispy texture to the capelin. Scrunchings are getting crispy. Chili is starting to blister. We're gonna go in with the capelin, right on in. We got a good heat. You wanna hear it sizzle. You wanna get a little bit of a sear on them. In they go. A Little bit of extra virgin olive oil just to keep it fried nicely. All right, so they're going for a couple minutes on this side. I can tell we're starting to get a nice little golden brown on the bottom. Just gonna delicately turn these. Beautiful. We're gonna do the same thing, two minutes on the other side. We got a nice golden brown. Oh my God, if you could smell it, it's amazing. So I'm gonna deglaze the pan with a little bit of beautiful Pinot Grigio just to stop the cooking and let that simmer away. Then we're moving on to some tomato passata. It's just a beautiful strained Italian tomato. Gonna make a beautiful sauce right in on top of that white wine. And guys, don't forget about this mix, any leftover mix. Make some tiny meatballs and just get them on in the pan. Just let it simmer away until the meatballs are cooked. We're gonna platter it up and dive into these delectable little fishies. That's been about two minutes, guys. Let's have a little look. Mamma mia! Woo! We're gonna get ready to plate these little bad boys up. So I got a nice big platter. Gonna grab a spoon and literally line our little capelins up. Oil up the pan, a little bit more extra virgin olive oil to get all that tomato out. Drizzle it around. We got some crusty bread. Mop up all that sauce. I'm sensing more lemon zest just to freshen it up. Again, with the fresh flat leaf parsley, a little chiffonade all over the platter. And that oyster leaf we picked on the beach. Waste not, want not, it's here, so let's use it. This stuff tastes like oysters and fresh cucumber. Just gonna get a few leaves on my board, some of these beautiful little flowers. Got these beautiful little chive flowers from my mom's garden. Gonna pick some of these little bombs of onion. Again, extra virgin olive oil. And a nice big wad of crusty bread. Just break it up, throw it on there. So guys, I wish you could smell this. Capelin brought the levels unknown. We got the Sicilian stuffing with the ground beef, the capers, the chilies. We got that beautiful oyster leaf. You can smell the rosemary, the scrunchions, the lemon juice. I'm gonna cut out a little portion for myself. I'm gonna find a nice little quiet rock and dig in. Let's make it pretty. Put a few little capelins around. Let's get a few meatballs around the edge. A little wedge of crusty bread. My red chili right on top. So since we're on the beach, guys, I'm gonna take my plate and find somewhere nice and quiet to go enjoy this. So we've come full circle, guys, from the fish swimming in the Atlantic, into my pop stip net, into my frying pan, now onto my plate. Let's get in there and see what we got. Oh man. First and foremost, the capelin comes through. The ground beef doesn't overpower it. It just accents it. And all the garlic, the pecorino, the tomatoes, everything's just building up to one perfect bite. I like a good pan-fried, simple capelin. 
just as much as the next guy, but I just had an epiphany. This is my new favorite capel dish for sure. And not to waste that sauce, just gonna mop some of it up. Absolutely wicked. Until our next tasty adventures on My Home Kitchen, I'm signing out. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>